What is good, everybody? Today, we are diving into the breakdown. We're going to be breaking down every WWE Ultimate Edition that we saw at San Diego Comic-Con 2024. Of course, I was there in person to witness everything, see the reveals and all of the coverage there in person in San Diego. It was a blast to see everybody out there. But today, we're going to be diving into the Ultimate Editions and breaking down all of them because if you were unaware, when you're there, man, it's so overwhelming and there's so much going on that it's very hard to process everything that you're seeing there, you know, breaking down everything, seeing the figures in person. It is very hard to really see everything and honestly I never really got to look at Ringside Collectibles feed on Instagram and really break down all of the different images and everything like that. So with that being said I have to kind of do it now. This is where we have to kind of break into that and get into it. So now I've had time, you know, I've been back home for a little bit. I've gotten to sit down establish the images, see everything. So with that being said, man, we're going to dive into every Ultimate Edition that was revealed and shown off and we're going to cover everything about it, tell you what I like and don't like and just dive into everything just like it would would be if I were sitting home during San Diego Comic Con. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up, let's dive into the Ultimate Editions, and let's proceed. All right, man, so I guess we can start things off with the Ringside Exclusive CM Punk Elite 16 Re-Release Ultimate Edition. Now, it's not the Elite 16 figure, but it is the same attire. It's the same moment in time, and they pretty much booked it exactly like I kind of fantasy booked it on the channel multiple times over. They included the blowing kiss face. They have an angry face. They have a smirking face. It comes with the WWE Championship. It has the blowing the kiss or go-to-sleep hands. It's got the white elbow pad. It is going to include the iconic white Best in the World t-shirt as well, and they were trying to figure out exactly how they're going to do it. They didn't know if they were going to do Velcro or if they were going to do non-Velcro at the moment. I think it's going to depend on how the graphic comes out or something like that is what I was told. So we will have to see about that. But this was one of the bigger reveals. It was revealed on the panel. CM Punk got to actually see this figure and hold it in his hand or whatever. And it looks pretty damn good. The only thing I don't really like about the figure is the head sculpts are a bit weird. They remind me a lot of the RVD Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition that was Walmart exclusive. It gives me those vibes kind of. It's just kind of a I don't know. The, the head sculpts just don't capture the likeness all the way, but I will say the smirking head sculpt looks damn good. I really like the smirking head sculpt. I think it looks really, really good. So there is that, but everything else about, uh, else about the figure looks damn perfection. I think they did a really nice job here. I like the formula. He doesn't look too small. He doesn't look too skinny. Hopefully he doesn't look too big, obviously. It doesn't look too big here, but you never know when it stands up next to other figures. They gave him the smaller knee pads. He doesn't have those gigantic knee pads that make him hard to pose. He doesn't have pinless joints, so he's not going to be very stiff out of the packaging, which is great. So, a lot of great bonuses there. It is awesome. You love to see this. This is one of the things that was on all of our wish lists, and they actually did it. So, this is amazing. This is going to be one of the better Ultimate Editions of the year. Hopefully, we get it in our hands before Christmas. I'd imagine late fall, this thing's going to be hitting, and it should be nice. It looks like it's very far along as well. So, this was absolutely a massive, massive W for everybody involved, and I, I could not be happier with it. The only thing is, like, the blowing kiss face, a little weird. It's not perfect, and then the yelling head sculpt's not perfect. But I think, all things considered, this is a damn good ultimate. This is one of the better reveals of the of the weekend. And just a great San Diego Comic-Con figure to be revealed here. This is a great way to start off our Ultimate Edition. Now, next up, we did have the Ultimate Edition Pitch Black match for Bray Wyatt. I was row one when he did this matchup here, and it was pretty cool. I mean, he threw LA Knight right into my lap. It was kind of nuts. But this figure is everything you want it to be. Now, it's very cool because there's going to be not only the Pitch Black or the, you know, the, the darkness or the black light sort of lighting going on on his arms right here. I'm pretty sure if you use a black light on this figure, it's going to illuminate, which is going to be cool, but the shoulders are removable because it is an Ultimate Edition, so you can put on those skin tone arms. They're going to have body paint and tattoos and everything on them, and then the head sculpts. There's going to be head sculpts that come with this figure as well that are also going to include that, but the paint detail here is immaculate. This is Ultimate Edition Series 24. You have a lot of re reuse parts on the lower half of this figure, but you're getting a lot of newness as well, which looks good. I am very hyped for this figure. Lots of details. It looks very realistic, which is crazy. I, I really, I don't know how they did this. You know, I thought that they would s include some sort of black light in the display that kind of would have, uh, you know, illuminate the figure itself, but this is really crazy. They did, a, they did a great job on this figure, and it's crazy because it looks like there's eyes on his torso, which is kind of weird. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, which I think is crazy, but this is a cool figure. I think this is going to be one of the better Bray Wyatts we've ever seen. We do know that we're getting Bray Wyatt in Elite 112 as well, so I'm very happy to see Bray Wyatt figures make their way back into the Mattel line, and this is another great one. I think everybody's going to be really, really hyped for this one. It looked great in person. It looks just as good as advertised with the face detail and you know all the paint apps, so I'm very hyped for the Bray Wyatt figure, but now we're getting into to the Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley, probably one of the most controversial figures revealed this year at San Diego Comic-Con for obvious reasons, right? 
Everybody has been wanting an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley for a very long time, including myself. We've been waiting on a Rhea Ripley Ultimate. It has been just over and over. We've been waiting on a Rhea Ripley, and they finally show off a Rhea Ripley. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my goodness, they didn't include the sternum tattoo. Or maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. I was the one kind of fantasy booking wanting the sternum tattoo. All the tattoos included. They included every tattoo except the sternum tattoo, which is which is fine, I guess. You know, I'm not going to lose my mind over it. I do wish it did have the sternum tattoo. But the main thing here is the only way to get the Rhea Ripley Ultimate is going to be buying the ring. So I do believe this is going to be Mattel Creations and Ring Set Exclusive, similar to the Eric Bischoff Ultimate with Ring, which I still haven't purchased, by the way. But that is because I don't want another ring, man. I really don't want another ring and this is another this, oh man this is a big deal because you know the ring is wrapped up into the figure itself right so WCW ring WCW Eric Bischoff it goes hand in hand the same collector is going to want both of those probably but here you have so many people that want a Rhea Ripley ultimate into their modern collection and you have so many people that want a ring I just hate that this Rhea Ripley the only way you can get Rhea Ripley in ultimate edition form is with the ring that is absurdity just because she is so popular one of the one of the most popular superstars on the entire roster, not just for women. I'm talking about all the way across the board, man. So this one really, really shocked me. I did not expect to see Rhea Ripley as the one that was included here. Now, I know that you'd probably get some arguments back and forth, like, no matter who it was, but Rhea Ripley being included with the ring and the only way you can get her is to spend 100 plus bucks on the ring itself is pretty wild, and I did not like that. So that kind of caught me off guard. I didn't like that. I know the Elite 110 is solid, but we've been wanting an Ultimate Edition Rhea with all the butterfly joints. We know how good the damn Asuka Ultimate is, so having a, another, you know, women's figure that is Ultimate Edition that is really damn good, like Rhea Ripley, like one of the most sought-after superstars on the roster in Ultimate Edition form, somebody we've been waiting on in Ultimate form for so long to be included with a ring, was pretty disappointing, man, pretty disappointing. I'd like to know what you guys think. I didn't really see a lot of, you know, a lot of shouting on social media, but I could have just missed it just because I was at San Diego Comic-Con, but that one, that one was pretty bummy, but the figure does look good. I do like it, you know, not the most over-the-top gear, no sternum tattoo, but certainly a really good Ultimate Edition of Rhea Ripley, and she comes with the brand new women's championship, which is, an, again, an, the only way you can get that title is going to be with this ring. Then up next, we did have Dominic Mysterio. Now, we did see him back at WrestleMania 40, which was on display in prototype form. Very cool figure going on. You have the jacket. You have the Rey Mysterio mask head sculpt. You have the pissed off head sculpt. Pretty solid looking figure. This is from his matchup with Rey at WrestleMania 39, which was cool, and he did have the entrance with the lowrider, right? Or was that Rey Mysterio? I think it was Rey Mysterio that did the entrance. He came out in the ambulance, wasn't it? Or the prison truck or something? like that, which was cool. That would be a really cool little wrecking vehicle they could do as well, but this one is pretty cool, man. You have the Dominic Mysterio, you know, not a guy that I would personally want an ultimate of, but at least it's good execution. It looks like it's going to be buttery smooth. It comes with some cool accessories. You have some longer handcuffs, I think, and some shorter handcuffs. You have the interchangeable arms, similar to, you know, previous ultimate editions we've seen with no jacket arms versus jacket arms, which is very cool. It looks like a solid ultimate. I, you know, I really wasn't that hyped to get this figure initially, but now that I'm seeing it in person, the tattoos look good. Everything is looking pretty damn good about this Dominic, and I really can't fault him for it. I think they did a good job. You even have the tassels on the boots and everything. Pretty good Dominic Mysterio, and that's all you can ask for, man. You know, it, we may not agree with everybody they want to include in the Ultimate Edition line, but at least if it's good execution, you can kind of live with it, right? So, I mean, the Dominic Mysterio looks very good, and all of his figures have been damn good. So, I appreciate this Dominic Mysterio Ultimate Edition, and it does look ready to go. And this is in the next series that we're bound to get from the Ultimate Edition line. And then up next to Dominic in this case, and in the line itself, in Ultimate Edition Series 23, we're getting Dominic, LA Knight, and Rey Mysterio. This LA Knight looks really good. You know, his legs are still a bit skinny compared to his Elite we've seen. And, you know, it's not the most over-the-top Ultimate, but he does come with the Jordan 11 boots, which is something I've been waiting on for a very long time. Very excited for this. You get the cloth goods, you get the entrance vest. Solid-looking head sculpts, not the best of all time, but he does come with the LA Knight hands as well. This is one of those of a modern guy that we've been waiting on. And, again, I don't really care for the thigh mold they're using. It's kind of skinny. I think I would prefer the Bobby Roode thighs or the Dolph Ziggler-style thighs. They're a little bit thicker there, and I think that would really add to the figure we'll have to see what we can do on surgery. But this LA Knight looks really, really good, man. Really good LA Knight figure right here. I like it a lot. I think they did a fantastic job on it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know? I'm certainly looking more forward to the Ultimate Edition over the Defining Moment. So, definitely looking forward to this. Very hyped to get these boots in figure form, which is great. Now, all we need is Kurt Angle's boots in figure form that I've been waiting on. You know, we have some other guys that I love their boots. You know, Bret Hart, love his boots, got them in figure form. Dolph Ziggler's boots, love those, got those in figure form. But this is some that we desperately needed in figure form. So, we do have 
LA Knight here. A definite pickup right here, and there's no flashbacks in this wave, so I know some people are going to be skipping out on this wave entirely, but the LA Knight did look pretty good. And then we also got Rey Mysterio, which is from his matchup with Dominic at WrestleMania 39. I call this Bible Man Rey Mysterio. His, his mask just has a very Bible Man-esque look going on, but I like the vibes of the modern-day Rey Mysterio in Ultimate Form. I really like these boots. They look really cool, how they have sort of this moon boot sort of look with the extra padding to them and the, the really cool graphics going on. Very, very cool Rey Mysterio figure. Very unique look as well. And it's from a cool matchup at WrestleMania. So I think this is cool. We get the full matchup between Dominic and Rey. Very toyetic. And we're getting the lowrider as well. So you could put him in there as well. You got some cool graphics going on. This looks very good. This looks very, very good. And, you know, it wasn't a figure that I necessarily wanted in ultimate form, but it's a good execution. And again, you can't really fault it. The man still can't get Mike holding hands. Maybe one day he'll get some Mike holding hands. He has those same grabby hands and fists. But it is what it is. I think that overall the figure does look nice, and it's going to be very poseable, which is always a great sign to see. And then we do have the Great Muda, which is another great one, man. We've been waiting on this. He is going to be in the next Ultimate line. I think it's Ultimate Edition Series 25. We are going to get the red, and then we have the black and white. And this figure looks like it's going to be very poseable. I think that the formula looks pretty good, in my opinion. New head sculpts and everything. Again, another gray-scaled prototype we don't have any paint apps but we do have some render images you can look at he comes with a gi and everything which is something that's great i know a lot of people have been waiting on this for a very long time and just getting new faces in the line people that we have not seen before actually getting those guys into the line is always very exciting and it looks like i can't tell off rip but it kind of looks like maybe it's not but it kind of looks like he has a new torso it kind of looks like a medium built torso here and I can't tell right off the cuff. I'm just kind of looking at these grayscale images. And I think it's it could not be new. It may not be new. Maybe it's the CM Punk torso or something. I can't tell off the off the rip just because it's in grayscale and I don't have it side by side. But it looks really good. And hopefully they do include the chest hair that's in the render image just because I feel like a lot of figures lack chest hair nowadays. But you're getting a ton of different things. You're going to have the spray effect, which is cool. Just a really cool figure that I'm looking forward to. And hopefully... I would love to see this figure come out before the end of the year. I don't know if that's possible or not. You know, we're only halfway through the year, so maybe we will get this before the year is over. We'll see how he comes into the, you know, the rankings of Ultimate Editions this year. But both of these figures look fantastic, and I would, this, these popped me pretty hard. I, thought they, I think they look really good, and I can't wait to get these in hand, see what they feel like. They look like they're going to be very poseable, so that's always very nice. But we're moving on to another Legends Ultimate, a couple Legends Ultimates here. We have Shawn Michaels, and this Shawn Michaels can go hand-in-hand -hand with your fan takeover, Triple H, which had way too big of a torso, but but this looks very, very good. Now, this is going to be Shawn Michaels, what, fourth Ultimate Edition that we have seen. And it looks very good. He's got the, it looks like they're just redoing the hair or taking, you know, every Shawn head sculpt we've seen. Kind of like the John Cena that we saw. They're just taking those head sculpts and adding different hair. And that's kind of what they've done here. They've taken existing Ultimate Edition head sculpts and just adding some hair to them to update them or make them ready to go. And you'll notice that he actually comes with two sweet hands, which is kind of crazy. So we're getting two sweet hands here. You're getting entrance hands, fists, mic holding hands. I think he is going to come with the DX Reunion Tour shirt. He is going to come with the mooning hat there. It has the bicep band, has the forearm band, which is a very cool look as well. And this is an attire we've never had in Elite form. I think we've had this in basic form, but this is pretty good. He's got the DX on there. Hopefully everything turns out great, but we haven't seen a DX shown in a while. I know you have the From the Vault series, but this is going to be completely different to be honest with you because this one actually is going to have this is actually going to be an earlier version than that elite seven and this is really more of a ruthless aggression style Shawn michaels right here so this is pretty cool to see didn't expect this so this is very nice definitely looking forward to getting this Shawn michaels and then we do have hulk hogan undisputed champion now this looks pretty good i will say Right off the cuff, I think this is going to be very sought after. It is Hulk Hogan. He's going to have all the bells and whistles going on. Pretty good head sculpts. You have the sort of like talking to him, talking shish head sculpt. Got the pointer fingers. You have this like, gr you know, this gritting head sculpt like he's ripping his shirt in half. Comes with the Undisputed Championship. I will say the knee pads look a little bit small. I think they could be a little bit bigger, but not the biggest deal of all time, I guess. And I think that the weight belt looks better here for some reason. I don't know if they retooled that in some way, but it looks like it is a little bit better here. It doesn't look as plain, but it could just be because it's colored and it's not, you know, in the solid white like we've seen from Cody Rhodes and things like that. So we'll have to see. But the Hollywood belt does look really, really good. They did a really good job on that one. And this figure looks great. I like the red knee brace and everything. Definitely a Hulk Hogan that a lot of people have been wanting. So getting it in ultimate form, I know everybody's 
it's going to be hyped. It would have been cool to see some cloth on the boa instead of the plastic that we've continued to see, but I'm sure they'll probably get into that at some point. But we have another Hulk Hogan Ultimate that looks pretty good here. And then we have one of my guys. We do have an Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. Now we are getting a brand new torso, it looks like, right here. We're going to be getting a bandana face mask. And one thing that I think they did that was genius with this Finn Balor is they're giving him the sleeved arms that he wrestles with a lot, and then they're giving him the non-sleeved arms. And the non-sleeved arms have all of his tattoos. So we haven't had updated tattoo Finn in a long time, especially with his new faces tattoo that's on his left arm, which I think is a brilliant inclusion right here. I would have never thought thought to even do that and that looks really good they could have done sleeved arms and sculpted jacket arms but they went with no ta or the no sleeved arms so you can have him in a promo gear or something and I did hear that he is going to come with a cloth goods jacket slash hoodie and he's going to come with a cloth goods t-shirt so he's going to be getting a lot of stuff going on here now he is also going to have brand new ultimate shoes here it looks like he is going to have you know some new stuff going on here I like the torso choice and everything I definitely would like to see a demon Finn Balor obviously but we kind of predicted this we figured that we would probably see some sort of Judgment Day Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. And that is what they went with, which is fine. I think it looks good and everything. So I'm not completely disappointed. And we do have a brand new head sculpt. And again, I can't really tell here. He is coming with the Elite 82 head sculpt, which is pretty bummy. And that same pissed off gritting head sculpt. But we do have a new smiling head sculpt, which is good. It looks like the beard's thicker. Hopefully everything turns out good with that. But the hair looks a little bit short there. They didn't really fix the hair in any way. It looks like the same hair. He is smiling, so it's not going to be a pissed off Finn Balor. So uh, we're still holding out for new head sculpts. Hopefully the beard is right on this one, and maybe we'll get some new additions in the head sculpts. But the attire's fine. It, it looks like it's going to be a good ultimate. I like the new torso. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here, but we'll have to wait until we actually see it in prototype form. Hopefully he doesn't have the smaller legs and stuff. We'll have to see again if they upgrade his scale or something like that as well. So we'll have to see. But on paper, it looks like a damn good Finn Balor. So we'll have to see. But the other figure here is going to be Solo Sokoa. Now, he does look like he's going to have Johnny Gargano Syndrome. I fully expect him to have Johnny Gargano Syndrome. But we do have all the tattoos here on Solo. Hopefully, all of this looks good. He's got a screaming expression, a couple pissed off head sculpts. He's got a gritting head sculpt. I'm sure he's going to come with some sort of t-shirt or something, right? I think they will upgrade him there. But hopefully, this is a really good figure, you know? And I think that all things considered it looks pretty good the only thing is going to be the Johnny Gargano syndrome but hopefully he's posable he'll probably have pinless joints which is going to be annoying you know his figures already have pinless joints so they're kind of stiff out of the packaging as well so it's all going to be by ear we're going to have to play it out but on paper, it looks good, but he is going to have Johnny Gargano Syndrome. I fully expect him to have the Johnny Gargano Syndrome. They're not going to redo the lower formula, unfortunately, here. But I don't know. You know, man, uh, unfortunately, that's what it has. But if you look at the hands, it looks like they have new sculpt on the hands for tape instead of just painted on, if you guys are noticing that. So we'll see if they actually sculpt on that or if it is just going to be painted on. But if you look at the hands on this figure, it does look like it has some sculpting on the hands. So maybe that's going to be a new inclusion, sculpted wrist tape and hand tape. We'll have to see. But then we also saw Damian Priest, and I could have swore that we already saw a prototype of this, but I guess we just saw a grade scale render, and now we actually have a fully colored render with a smiling head sculpt. You have a straight face and a pissed off face. He's going to come with some entrance gear. He's going to come with the Money in the Bank briefcase, which is cool. And all of his figures have been so good that I think Damian Priest will be, you know, he's going to continue to bat a thousand. We always talk about nobody bats a thousand. Well, Damian Priest is one of those guys that seemingly is holding his own out there, man. He's He has a lot of unique sculpt. He has his own unique things going on every time. They nail it, man. They absolutely nail it. So it's pretty shocking to see that a guy can continue to have this kind of figure catalog. It's kind of insane, but he's got the sculpting on the, scu on the sculpting on the crotch. He's got the sculpting on the legs. They did a really good job here on the Damian Priest figure, but I, I enjoyed this one. This is pretty good, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks looks like when it is actually in a sculpted format. And then we also got the final boss in the rock here. Now this is going to be an updated rock. It's got a yelling head sculpt, a pissed off head sculpt, and the same damn smiling head sculpt. It looks like the head sculpts are kind of repeats kind of, except for the screaming head sculpt. But he is going to come with that People's Champion Brahma Bull title, which is a pretty cool inclusion. You know, he did come out on TV with it. It wasn't, you know, something random. It looks pretty good. You know, it's going to have all the tattoos and everything. I wish they'd stop using this torso, but I'm not going to fist fight him on it. I do like the addition of the new tattoo. We have not, we've only seen two elites with the updated tattoo and they were both on those god awful you know jogging pant legs and they were single jointed arms so having double jointed arms with a rock here you can fix them up into a final boss I know we're getting a final boss elite as well but this is an ultimate and it looks pretty good you can't really fault it I think that this is they're going to release a lot of rocks because of last year he was one of the bigger bright or this year he was one of the brighter parts of TV especially early on so I expect to see a lot of
of Rock figures later this year and on into 2025. And then we also saw the fan takeover John Cena. Now, the three options were WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 23, and WrestleMania 26. And unfortunately, WrestleMania 21. Now, I, I hate to see it. Now, I love WrestleMania 20. I love the moment. I love the entire thing. But man, the only thing about this figure is I said to vote for WrestleMania 23 because we could get some armbands and a hat and everything. Now, I know we've seen that in Elite Four, man, but Jesus, we only have one Elite in the long, you know, green, army green shorts. Now we're getting another jorts, John Cena, instead of a, a camo green or some army green shorts in long form. We've only seen that once. Now we're getting another jorts Cena, and everything that he wore in this matchup cannot be replicated, man. He had a Mitchell and Ness hat on. He had you know, Super Mario and Nintendo armbands. He had a Trans Am armband. He had on a New York Knicks jersey. So they're not going to be able to make anything officially licensed, which means everything on this figure is going to be completely blank, which is why I was trying to tell people you need to vote for something that WWE made or that's WWE licensed because then you can include every single logo. So this is what's bummy about this is the figure should be fine, but... None of the logos are going to be included, or if they are included, they're going to be completely wrong, and everything's going to be in inaccurate. It's going to be probably some jersey that's blank on the front. It's going to have the, maybe the number will be right and the colors will be right, but on the back it'll say Cena, and it'll have, you know, different things going on, but none of the graphics are going to be accurate. It's going to be very frustrating as a Cena collector because it's going to be completely inaccurate. Now, I know a lot of people don't really care about that, but as, you know, the Cena collector that I am, it is going to be kind of annoying, and that is why I wanted WrestleMania 23, because the first go-around on that figure, the armbands were painted on and the shirt was way too small and the figure could be way upgraded. I think in ultimate form that figure would have been way way better with the live fast fight hard t-shirt on and the you know the military hat and the army sweatbands with the bulldog on there would have been way better sculpted on and painted it would have been amazing but unfortunately we got WrestleMania 20 which should be a fine figure. I just think that WrestleMania 23 would have been the much better figure unfortunately. So there is that but just wanted to talk about that man and I get why people voted for it. It is a great scene and everything. I'm sure it'll come with a U.S. title. Maybe it'll come with a U.S. title. We'll see. But a lot of things are going to be missing from this figure in terms of accuracy, so it's very unfortunate. We do have the Walmart exclusive, Monday Night Wars Triple H, which looks very, very good. I love the unique torso going on right here. Steve did speak a little bit about that in my interview with him. If you guys missed that interview with Steve Ozer, definitely go check it out from Comic-Con. But this figure looks very good. I'm very excited for it. The Game Over shirt, the head, ponytail head sculpts. This is a figure that is right up my alley. I love Triple H in this look here. And I think the new torso looks so much better than the Ultimate, the Ultimate Warrior style torso. So this is very, very clean. Very, very good. They did a great job here. Very excited for the Triple H and can't wait to see what it looks like when it's on shelf. So it should be great. But we also have Lex Luger here with the retooled world title. You have the NWO world title as well. Unfortunately, the well, the NWO version looks like it is going to be that old classic version from Mattel, so it is going to have the WWE logo on there, which is kind of bummy. But you could take one of the newly tooled world titles and put NWO on it, I guess, if you wanted to. But this Lex, you know, I didn't really think I'd want a Lex in Ultimate Form, but after seeing this figure in person and seeing a yelling head sculpt, it actually looks really good. Now, these head sculpts are hand-painted prototypes, similar to the Hulk Hogan we saw for the Target Exclusive Legends wave. But this Lex Luger looks good. He's going to be a Monday Night Wars Ultimate, and it's going to be Walmart exclusive. But they actually, this looks good, man. I think they did a really good job here, and he is going to have removable hair pieces, so that's pretty cool as well. Very cool execution right there, and I think this torso actually works for a guy like Lick, so that's nice to see. But we also have Dusty Rhodes, which is going to be Legends Ultimate Target Exclusive. Looking pretty good. The last time we saw this figure was in a prototype form. It was, you know, just the parts sculpted out. We didn't get to see paint apps, but you do have Polka Dot Dusty, which looks very good. Could be the best Dusty figure of all time, so we'll have to see. But he comes with a police hat. He comes with the Polka Dot shirt, which looks to be non-Velcro. Cool head sculpts. Don't really like that wide mouth open one. We've seen that before. But the smiling head sculpt looks good. The kind of pointing head sculpt looks really good as well. So I'm looking forward to the Dusty. They did a really good job here. But then we're wrapping it up here at the end with the Coliseum Collection Series number 6, which is going to feature Bam Bam Bigelow and the Big Boss Man. Now, both of these look really good. I did not expect to see Big Boss Man or Bam Bam in Ultimate Form, but this is probably one of the better Coliseum Collection sets we've seen. Now, I do like other versions as well, but look, if you'll notice on Bam Bam, they didn't include knee pads, which means he should be way more poseable, and he's going to have the drop-down hips and everything, and everything like that. This Bam Bam should be very, very poseable, and I like the torso. I like the shirt, which is very unique. The head sculpts look really good. They nailed it on this guy. All the paint apps, 
Just a really, really strong inclusion here with Bam Bam, which is another guy. Like, obviously, he he probably deserves an Ultimate Edition, but I didn't really think about it. And seeing the execution here looks good. And then you have the strap on the Bossman torso, which looks good. And Bossman looks really good as well. I know we've seen this multiple times over, but the shade of blue actually looks really good. The head sculpts look really good. He comes with handcuffs. The, the baton, it looks like he, he comes with a clip right there, so you can actually clip it onto his belt, which is another really cool detail. The sculpted sleeves that are double-jointed. Just a really unique figure, which I think this set, if we get, we should get this in hand before the end of the year. I don't see a situation when we don't see it in hand before the end of the year, but this set right here is really good, and both of these guys could make the top 10 ultimates of the year. They look like on paper they're going to, but we've seen a lot of really good ultimates this year, so we'll have to see what comes of it. But really, really strong inclusions here with Bam Bam Bigelow and Big, ba Big Boss Man. Really good stuff here. Really like the way these look. But that was every single Ultimate Edition that we saw at uh, San Diego Comic-Con, man. I thought that it was a pretty solid reveal day of Ultimate Edition. I think we saw 20 Ultimate Editions. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was 20 total. If you include, you know, ones that we saw updated and new ones that were revealed, which is pretty good, man. 20 Ultimates. So we know about 20 Ultimates that are coming, and you guys know they like to kind of lay it on thick. They like to bring us a whole lot of reveals at San Diego Comic-Con, and I think they did so. And I think there's a lot of really good stuff coming, and I am looking forward to it. And we are going to do a video like this breaking down every Elite that was shown off, so that one should be fun as well. Going to be a very long video, but I did want to get on here. We always get on here and break down all the Ultimates, all the Elites, all of the basics, everything that was included, you know, on display at San Diego Comic-Con. Because, again, I don't have an opportunity to to kind of discuss everything that I saw. So this gives me an opportunity to sit down and really digest the figures as a whole and kind of, you know, really focus on parts and just different things I like and dislike about the figures. So it should be fun, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the Ultimate Edition breakdown of every Ultimate we saw at San Diego Comic-Con. I'd like to know what you guys think of everything down in the comment section below. Let me know all of your thoughts, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the EMDT YouTube channel, man. I appreciate all you fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much, as always, for your continued support, man. That is pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.